All right, what do we do today, guys? Well, Ken come over this morning and he's got these, had these cedar slabs here that he needed some 18 inch beams out of. So we had two of them. So we put there their cedar, what, 12 and a half feet long? Yep. 12 and a half feet long. So we cut two, well, this one's a six by 18 and the other one's a seven by 18. They're new beams for our new float. So. Yep. All the stuff that we've been David and I were just discussing the fact that uh, you probably won't find these on the shelf at Home Depot. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you find this wood? Where did this wood come from? Wawuski Island, one mile that way. Much equity, sweat, and uh, effort. And we finally got them here, and this is the finished product. Is any of this the big uh, tree you found in the water? Didn't you find a tree floating in the water? No, that's the that red. was the red cedar we oh, built a couple days ago. That's yeah. that stuff over there. That was All a, right. Uh, a beachcomb project. Yeah, that was a fantastic. Over on Zerimbo Island. How far is Zerimbo? Mm, we're across Sumner Strait. Probably from here, it's six, eight miles. Wow, so you hauled that all the way back, huh? Yep, towed it back. Wow. Then you so milled it, milled some of it. With I milled, I, I broke it down into cans with my Alaska chainsaw mill. And then once David got me into this operation, I will never go back. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> this is way too easy. Compared Not to only do I get the combined help, but he's got the equipment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So lots of free lumber, but you know, got to work for it. Excellent. Nothing's free. <laughs> it's Sweat not it. exactly free. You start considering the cost of the sawmill, the cost of the equipment, and and all of that. So there's all a price to pay, but well, I think it's uh, one of the benefits of living in Southeast Alaska, where we have beautiful wood and we have access to it. 